Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Mark Belkin from Stratus Consulting Group and today I'm going to be taking you through a live walkthrough of our integration between NYP Advanced and TrackPod. TrackPod is a software for tracking your proof of delivery of your, um, of your outbound deliveries and it's designed to be used by your own drivers or contract drivers who are running trucks around for you and delivering goods to your customers. It's run through a mobile interface but the process actually starts here within NYP Advanced. I'm going to start off here within NYB Advance on our sales order screen. What I've done here is I've created an order. So I've got an order from our customer um, and they've, they've got a couple of items here that they want delivered. Over here in the shipping section, we need to tell the system that we're going to be delivering this ourselves. You can have an option of different carriers here, but let's say we're going to be doing our own delivery and I'm going to select TrackPod there as the delivery method. Once that's done, obviously I just want to check the address to make sure that's all correct. I could override that if I needed to, but otherwise, if it's all good, we'll just go ahead and save that and create a shipment. A shipment within NYB Advance is basically telling the system that I want to ship these goods now. It's like an instruction to your warehouse. Once this is done, now in, normally we would print a pick list or we would grab the mobile device and start scanning these items and getting them ready for delivery. We're going to just skip that step and jump ahead and pretend we've already done that. So let's say we've got all the goods, we've packed them up and they're actually ready to go on the truck. We just want to schedule the actual delivery. So I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm shipment. And because that delivery method, we've already told the system that we're going to be delivering it ourselves. This will now be communicating with TrackPod and pushing all the relevant information through for us to do our scheduling. So once that's done, we'll see that appear automatically over here in TrackPod. This is our TrackPod interface and you can see that um, we've got a, a map here and down the bottom here is all the orders and there's a couple of test ones plus the one I just did a second ago. It's just automatically appeared here ready for me to schedule them in. Now the first step in scheduling is creating a route. I can be creating these for days ahead or I can just do them as I go as I'm doing my planning. So here's one I've already prepared and it's basically a route to go out today. It's going to start off from our depot in Clayton and we want to finish up there as well. So the truck's going to come back at the end of the day. What we're going to do is start um, dragging in orders that we want to be delivered on this particular route. So it's just a matter of grabbing the particular orders here, dropping them onto the screen on the left and confirming what we're going to deliver. I'm going to put three deliveries onto here. And there we go, we're ready to go. Now, um, there is various bits of information. You can customize the columns here that you could use to then determine what you ship. One of the particular ones you notice there is your zone. That's quite important. So if you do segment your customers into zones, uh, north, south, east, west, for example, you may want to sort by that and create a route for different zones for different drivers to go out. Obviously, you don't want to be driving all over town when you can be sorting them and grouping them logically. Um, so once we've done that, we've got a whole bunch of orders here, but I don't really know yet what order I should be delivering them in. Well, I'm going to let the system work that out for me. I can just click on optimize, put a few parameters here like start time and whether we want to start and finish at the depot, how long it takes to do each delivery approximately. And then it's going to use the, the AI in the system to figure out the best way to deliver those orders um, to uh, maximize our efficiency and minimize driving time. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. It's going to go away and think about that and create a route for me. So you can see it's planned all that out. We're starting from our depot. It's figured out the best way to get there and then the order to deliver in. So we're going here from one, two, three, and then make our way back. Um, and that's done. We'd also have the option here to lock a particular order. So let's say we have to deliver one of them first. We could rearrange it manually and then lock that in position. Um, because let's say the customer can only accept deliveries in the morning. So you can tailor that experience within here. Now, once that's all done, then essentially we're ready to start driving. So the next step from here is that our driver, um, Henrik, who's in truck number one, would receive a push notification on their mobile device to say that you've got a new route and they're ready to go. And we're going to jump into the mobile interface and look at that process next. Okay, so here we are in the mobile interface and as you can see I've logged in as a driver and I've got a route here ready to go. So what I'm going to do is just tap on that and it's going to show me all the deliveries I need to make. Now as a driver I can move these around if I need to, if I've made a decision to you know, deliver them in a different order or something's happened, there's, there's been an accident, so I could do that. But otherwise if I'm happy with all of these I can start on my process. So the first step is to do a load check. So if I come in here, the system is going to want me to check that I've got all the orders on the truck. So as they're loading them on, I'm going to check them off and say, yeah, I've got that one and I got that one. 
and I got that one. So I'm all good to go. Now, these features are optional, so you can turn them on and off, but normally it's a, a pretty good idea. We do also have the ability to scan. So if you have barcoded all your packages, you can use the option here to uh, scan to make sure that you've got all the right packages on board as well. Otherwise, as a driver, I can sign off to say, yep, I've got all of those on board and I'm good to go. Um, from there, I've got another feature, which is also optional, but it's a vehicle check. What this one allows me to do is punch in my uh, odometer and do a quick safety check of the vehicles. So this is you know, quite important um, from a compliance perspective. I wanna make sure that I've ticked off that all of these things are okay. I can make some of them mandatory and some optional, um, depending on what you prefer. Um, but if there's a problem, I can uh, you know, take a quick photo um, and I might report that as an issue. Um, and you can see it's put that little cross in there and that will get reported back to base to say that there's a problem. But let's say that's all okay, it's not nothing serious. I can then keep going. And the next step from there is to click on start route and away we go. So I'll press okay there. Now you'll notice at the top here, it's actually notifying my customer. So we can put preferences in of when and, and how long before to notify. Um, and then that would send an email or an SMS notification to the client to say, hey, your delivery is going to be there soon. They can also track all this online. Um, but let's say we're going to head off um, and we can use our, our maps integration to, um, uh, to go um, give us driving instructions. Um, and let's say we arrive there and we can tap the thing to say we've arrived. And, um, and then we can tap on the order and we confirm that we've delivered everything. So we'd be going through the list of items, ticking off everything to make sure it's all been delivered as promised. And if we're all good, we tap on delivered and then we can actually take the proof of delivery. So at this point, we would probably get the customer to sign. Um, so we'd get them to scribble on here. We'd take the name of uh, the person that's signing, make sure we got a all, five, all good five-star rating there for the delivery. Um, and if we want extra proof of delivery, we can even take a photo. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a photo there and we'll attach that as well. We'll save that. And once we're happy with that, then we'll say we've departed the site and all of this is being tracked. It's using GPS to track the location. And in the background, you'll notice here that it's uh, updating the system live to say that we got there when we left, that it was all delivered and the status of the delivery. So I've got live real time visibility of exactly what's happening. It's automatically notified my next customer there and um, we can then go ahead and continue that process. So we'll go to the next place, we'll start driving, we'll use the maps and, and make our way there. Click on arrived, check the order, say it was delivered and so on. Um, and then we depart the site and, and keep going. Um, we do have the ability to take note of any issues. So let's say we arrive at the last site and we check the order and there was a problem with one of the items. So we might need to go in there and say this item uh, was wrong and we might take a photo and whatnot. And, um, and then we can make a note of that. Um, so we can say we rejected one of those um, and that will update the quantities accordingly. And then you can see that we can partially deliver it or we could say that it was not delivered at all. So we'll keep track of all that for us and, um, um, and then we can continue on. All right, done. And then we'll depart from there and then we close out the route. And then we finish that and away we go. Now, if we have a look back in the system here, you can see all of that information has been updated for us as we go. Um, and it's attached photos and where there are photos and that's all come straight back into the system. And then via our integration, all that data will actually flow back into MYB Advanced um, on a schedule and um, it will update here with the photos. So here's an example of one that prepared earlier. So you can see in the files section in MYB Advanced, it keeps track, it, it brings the signature and any images that you took any photos back to here. Um, and in your delivery tab, it's, get, it's kept all the important information here. So we've got your tracking link um, that has been delivered, who signed for it, um, when um, did we get a photo, all that sort of thing. And that concludes the process. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. See you in the next video.